who is going to call out uh, the final moments of the final countdown. And we'll be back when Vega has cleared the tower. Final countdown. Attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top. Allumage. Et décollage. VV05. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. through the clouds off like a shot you saw Vega rise like an arrow surprisingly fast if you're used to watching Ariane 5 Acquisition de la télémesure lanceur par la station de Saint-Jean du Maroni My friend Guido here pumped his fist in the air when he saw her rise <laughs> were you aware you were doing that that's terrific Th those of you who are following the Ariane flights know that the heavier launcher rises much more slowly the DDO saying everything's normal Ariane 5 weighs over six times what Vega does carries four times as much propellant she lifted off perfectly from French Guiana beginning the fifth mission in her young career she weighs now lift off 136 tons they call her the light the launcher, but uh, she's not really this light as all that, 136 tons after all. The first stage burning now, weighing 97 tons, 88 tons of that are fuel. The first stage will burn its single engine for about two minutes before being jettisoned. All is normal on board. The first stage produced in Colifero near Rome. The Italians uh, leading this project then delivered to the French Guiana propellant plant here where it's loaded with fuel and it's then transferred to the booster integration building. You saw some of those shots in the launch campaign film we had just before beginning there. The upper segment of the Ariane 5 booster is also loaded in Colifero, same place, same teams. The DDO has called out the separation of the first stage, also called the P-80, and you can see we've had ignition of the second stage, which is called the Z-23, Z-4 Zephyro. We're in the second stage burn now, the second stage, the Zephyro 23, La will, will burn its solid rocket fuel for 86 seconds. It weighs 25 tons and 23 tons of fuel. What's the satellite doing now? At the moment, the satellite is, uh, can we say, enjoying the ride, although it is a relatively rough ride to reach its position in orbit. And it's a sun-synchronous orbit. Sun-synchronous means that we are this evening launching towards north, towards towards a polar orbit, an orbit which goes over the poles, and it's an orbit that while the Earth is rotating between, beneath the Le satellite. Est calm. Good news. Beneath the satellite orbital plane, it covers the whole Earth. The final destination is about 800 kilometers altitude, 786, and the orbit is called sun synchronous because a given point on the Earth's surface is seen always at the same local time. And the altitude is more or less 800 kilometers? Uh, 786, like this is the final destination, and we are on our way to it. The sun synchronous or polar orbit, different from the geostationary transfer orbit where the majority of telecom satellites go, which is the usual Ariane mission, which goes east, although uh, Ariane can be used for this launch as well. So sun synchronous orbit. Yes, and we will cross the equator at 10.30 local time. Z23. All right, you saw right on time separation of the Zephyr 23 stage, the second stage, and we are awaiting ignition, there we have it, you saw in the cartoon, of the third stage, which is another Zephyr stage, called Zephyr 9. Now you see the fairing has been jettisoned. Why do we jettison the fairing right now? 